Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Dorothy Allen with Allen Retail Group. So we are going to jump into a short deck. Uh, I really want to bring your, uh, help you understand your business and virtual tours, why I think they're important. Uh, some of my recommendations, we'll talk about types of tours and things like that. But it, regardless of your space, you might be have a museum or a historic space. You might have a retail location. You could be a healthcare provider with you know high-end technical equipment. You could be an automotive uh, dealer. Regal regardless of your space, virtual tours will work in any situation. But a tour on its own will not give you the return on investment unless you're willing to use it and engage with people with it. And we'll talk about that towards the end. So give me about 15 minutes. This is pretty heavy show and tell, um, but we're going to walk through. First of all, let's talk about the types of tours that are out there. Um, the standard tours that you're going to hear about are Google Street View tours. I've got an example coming up. Uh, Matterport walkthrough tours and 360 point to point tours, which are not as popular um, Prime, I should say they're probably growing in popularity because people see the um, the uh, variety of things that you can do with it. Uh, Matterport is a state of the industry in the real estate and architectural uh, firms. Uh, and there are some specialty tours, rendered uh, walking tours, and then rendered 360 tours. Um, I'm not going to uh, drain that or spend much time on that. Um, I'll do that in another uh, uh, video. But just so you know, you can actually take a detailed 2D floor plan and render it into a walking tour or render it into a 360 tour uh, and be able to literally see a piece of property before it's ever built. It's, it is pretty amazing, but we're not gonna spend much time on that here. So let's talk about why we would actually do this. Uh, listen, devices are everywhere. I, I know you know it. Mobile search is king. It's uh, far more than actually desktop search. And uh, studies do show that we touch our cell phones 76 to 132 times a day. I mean, it's a given. People are doing it. Um, so, you know, if, if the insight there is people are not looking up anymore. They're looking down. You've got to meet them where they are. And this is one of the easiest ways to get people to engage with your brand through that small screen or that uh, device that they have. So let's look at real quickly um, the difference between uh, uh, Retail View 360 and uh, Google Street View Tour. So th this is a platform, it's a 360 viewing platform, and it gives a lot of control to the provider. You're gonna be able to drop in your brand, you'll have high user engage engagement with customizable links, you can see that here. There's viral sharing across a variety of platforms. Uh, it is does come with VR ready links, and there are three ways to navigate this. You can actually use the bubbles, uh, or point to point, you can do the drop down menu here. You click on the arrow, drops down, and you can see more rooms, or you can actually do it through thumbnails. So there's lots of versatility. And the thing I like best about this is because you're using 360 uh, panoramic images, you can actually bring them into Photoshop and uh, make sure that everything's color corrected. And uh, it just gives you a lot more um, control over a particular tour. So let's, let me pause here and I'm going to bring up a screen uh, so I can show you what each one of these tours looks like. Okay. Okay. This is a uh, Google uh, 360 tour. If you scroll down on most of these Google platforms, you can go over, here's a street view tour and you can see, um, you know, it allows you to move around. You can see if you move too fast, that, that it's just not going to generate very quickly. This is indicative of Street View. And the reason that is, is uh, the providers that are putting these together are running in, shooting 360s, they're not compressing the files, they may not even be color correcting the files, um, but it's a, it's a really quick way for them to make some money. You're going to spend anywhere between $159 and maybe $300 um, to do a Google Street View tour, tour. They're actually very, generally, very linear. Um, you're going to come in from the street. Uh, generally, there has to be at least one of the opening like that. And you go outside, get some perspective, come back in and start the tour. So, but let's look at this same space in a 360 point to point tour. Um, here's the same space. You can see the quality of the imaging is significantly higher. Um, you can actually see uh, different types of hotspots. If I click on this, I'll go out to Facebook and I can like it. If I click on this, it'll open up my email, um, default email client, and I can email them. 
Uh, I can actually click on hotspots where they they make their own pies. Um, so it gives me a lot more latitude uh, as both an owner and a, as a tour developer. Um, and that's what I like about it. So this takes you out to his um, menu. Uh, nice way to be able to connect the um, your your menu and your, I'm sorry, your uh, website and your tour gives you a lot, a lot of nice rich backlinks. So that's a basic um, 360 point to point tour. Uh, in a retail environment. So let's go ahead and look at, uh, let's see here. This is a point to point tour. Um, this is uh, using Matterport 360 images in a point to point tour. So here you can actually embed some information about where, where to eat around the house. This is branded, it's got the uh, brand for the agent there, but it's very typical, you just kind of walk through uh, and hotspots can be embedded where there's points of uh, interest or information so you know very nice very easy to use uh, very simple to drive if you will um, and it gives you a lot of control again over color it gives you control um, over perspective the whole nine yards lots of things that you can actually fix in this uh, when you do these types of tours so let's take a look at this same space as a Matterport tour okay so here we are, uh, you can see the nice dollhouse. You can see right here, I didn't capture all the mesh. I did not take an image over here, so I don't have the mesh, but um, the point of this was actually not to do a Matterport tour. It was actually to do a 360 tour. I just use Matterport equipment because they have the best capture method, uh, the best capture method in terms of technology. So let's just jump in here. And now we are limited to, we can move bubble to bubble, or really dot to dot here. Um, you can go in, spin around. You can see where you actually have lights where there isn't any ambient light. You're getting a little bit of color shift. I can't do anything about that in this tour. This is what drives me crazy about Matterport. Um, but great images. You can do all types of matter tagging in here. If I wanted to do call outs and whatnot um, in the kitchen, I could, I could easily do that. But it really does a great job of showing off the entire house. So those are the different types of tours that you're going to have an option for your business. I personally, um, I tend to go with the point-to-point uh, -point tour in a retail environment um, because it, it gives me a lot of latitude. It gives me a lot of ways to embed the story using the various pieces of content. And if I'm doing, if I was going to do a doctor's office or high-end, um, very high-tech uh, type of tour uh, space. I probably would do a Matterport. And if I was going to do a museum, to me, it's going to be a toss up. This is going to take 10 times longer to shoot. It's likely going to be three or four times more expensive. Uh, you will have to pay hosting uh, because Matterport demands hosting from everybody. Um, the other one, if you go with a uh, point to point walking tour, you can actually get uh, some, some providers will provide what's called a buyout option. So you might pay a little ahead, but you won't be paying hosting your entire life. Um, or there's hosting options. And sometimes you can actually do a pay for performance models if you can find the right uh, provider. But those are the different types of tours. So I'm going to pause this and we're going to jump back to the deck and just talk about a few more things. Okay, welcome back. So this is probably the most important slide I can actually go over. And I'm not going to take a lot of time. But uh, because point to point walking tours, uh, I'm sorry, point to point 360 walking tours have. Uh, allow for Google Analytics or Google UA codes, we can actually track performance over time. You can, once you get into a year, you can do your, your rear performance. This can be as detailed as you want it to be if you know anything about Google Analytics. But what I'm trying to illustrate to you here is when we started this tour, we did a soft launch and uh, then we actually did a, some promotion uh, using, I think it was Facebook at the time, and they were uh, sending out emails. And then we actually did another post here. I forget what the occasion was, um, but you can see how the uh, traffic goes up, comes back down to where it normally is. Uh, th see, then we actually did, uh, uh, this is a Google business profile post where it was just informative post for people to learn more. And you can see how that did. And then once again, towards the end of November, we actually did another Facebook post. So the, the point I'm trying to make is your tour will do nothing on its own. It's, it's impossible for that to, to happen. 
Um, the only way it's actually going to perform is if you take the time to post it. And, um, you know, each view in a Matterport tour and each bubble, if you will, in a 360 point to point tour is a unique link. So it helps keep your tour fresh. You can point people to um, specific areas within your tour to promote them, but it's going to require you actually doing some type of engagement with your tour. Uh, and I think that's the, probably the most important thing I can tell you. Most people think they can make a tour, throw it out there, and it's going to make money for them. And that, that will not happen if anybody tells you that. They're not being honest with you. Uh, that's just not how uh, marketing works. Um, you know, if you want to get started with a point-to-point -to -point tour or a Matterport tour, I, I just need to understand what your strategy is. And if you don't know what that should be, um, get, in, get in touch with me. I, I'm a business strategist uh, by nature. I've been doing it for 20 years. If I understand something about your business... I'm sure I can give you some ideas on how a tour might best benefit you. And quite frankly, if a tour is not the right tool for you, I'm going to let you know that. There's no sense in spending money on something that's not going to return on its investment. You're actually investing in an asset. It's not really an expense, uh, but you need to understand how to use it. And most of these, if not all of them, can be updated over time. So if content changes, links, re links can be either redirected or recreated. Uh, you can do branded uh, things in there. So uh, it's, it's really um, understanding the strategy is where we start. We got to go out and capture it, whether I capture it or I find a resource to capture it uh, in your local market. Um, that's fine. There's probably 10,000 different uh, providers out there, but not all 10,000 of them are what I would call experts. Uh, and you need to really understand there is a people who are photographers by nature tend to do a much better job because they're inclined and they're trained how to look at a space before they actually take an image, and that's critical. So, um, but once we create it, we can put your measurements in position, publish it, uh, and then there's all the places that you publish it, and you know you can look at it on a 30 day, um, every every 30 days, and see what's going on, and then uh, and see how your tour is performing, and then start to do some due diligence around the analytics. So, if you are at all interested, um, and you'd like to maybe even have a short 15-minute conversation on strategy, you can certainly reach out to me if you go to my website, um, www.allenretailgroup.com. Go to the examples page. There is a button on there you can get on my calendar for a quick 15-minute call. I'm more than happy to talk to you um, and see if it's the right direction for you to go. I appreciate you being here. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks so much.